Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 11. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Right, we got a golf. We're doing the Civic versus golf. We're going to be taking a golf. Uh, yeah. Sakuba Full Circuit, Maple Valley, Sedona Raceway and then uh, Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. There we go. We got the old golf, by the way. I'm not taking the new one. I'm taking the old ratty one. Because no one else has taken it, actually, in this, which is kind of funny. But uh, my golf is better than all of your golfs. This 100% isn't realistic to the real golf. I have upgraded this to D-Class. So, I'm able to keep up. But it's cool, right? No. Oh, this is the first time I've actually taken the uh, full Sakuba circuit. I've overshot me corner. Arf, arf. Ha, ha. Right, let's see if we can get that position back. I do like how, um, obviously the, the races are much longer in this game, but on average they're fairly, um, standard in terms of how long. I don't know what the term I'm looking for is, but, uh, the average, basically if I was to do any event in this, I would expect it to take about 20 minutes to do in this game, 20 to 25 minutes. In most War 2, it was fairly random. Some were longer, some were shorter, some were just ridiculously long. Some of the races were 16 minutes, some of them were 8 minutes in the same event. This, a majority of it is even. So, I really do like that. I still found it baffling that when they designed one of those events in Motorsport 2... One of them was eight minutes on average for each of the races. And then they put the Nürburgring in, which is an eight minute a lap. But rather than doing it once to make all the races be about eight minutes long, they did it twice. It still confused me. The weird move. Down, down. Yeah. Wow, wow, uh-huh. I got your money. Oh, shit. I do like how it is so much cooler in the UK now. Like, heat is not a problem for me. Hey, <laughs> cracking. Why have you broken me Lamborghini in half? <laughs> I mean, poor Lambo. Oh, 
Uh, I'm looking forward big time for WRC Generations. Apparently, uh, Team VVV is supposed to get a um, another one hour video on there about uh, WRC Generations because they had a hour long video about two weeks ago, I think. So I think he's doing another one, which is pretty interesting to see. Not bad. 7,200 credits. Uh, you now have a 20% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by Volkswagen. All right, let's go. Thank you for the drink glitch. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Twitch has finally bumped up the ad revenue after like God knows how long. There we go. result this golf by the way is actually really nice to drive I'm gonna get my thumbnail on this track for this one rock your body dance everybody make it hot in this party don't stop move your body rock this party Damn, everybody. It's not even playing on stream. I just felt like singing it. <laughs> oh, lovely. bad. This thing is flowing round the corners. Nice. Woof. Oh, we got the uh, Hyundai one next. Not bad. Six grand, Coolio. Uh, now have a 20% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by R Germany. Yes. 
I've just noticed my car has BBS rims. Do they come stock on the car? Are they an aftermarket part? Because if they're aftermarket, then the game has automatically given me BBS rims, in which case I'm a very happy man. Because I love BBS rims. They are beautiful. Meow. That was a horrendous corner, I'll be honest. Three point three 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 seconds faster. Do you know, I I really didn't like tarmac racing anyways. It's fine. Honestly, if Forza Motorsport, the next Forza Motorsport, doesn't have dirt racing in it, it's going to be an utter disappointment because they've spent five years making that game. They have rally cars. They have off-road vehicles in motorsport already. If they can't even add a couple of, like, dirt circuits, even if it's, like, three or four, like a dirt oval, a couple of rallying tracks with some hairpins, a little bit like how Gran Turismo 4 had. If they can't do that, then I think Falls is doomed as a series. Especially the fact that it's called motorsport, but the only motorsport available is anything that's on a circuit. So rallying is out of the question. Half of NASCAR's out of the question because they do dirt NASCAR. They like do dirt NASCAR races but on dirt with like a layer of dirt on the tarmac. Nice. 7,200 for that. We're now level 3. Uh, you now have a 20% discount on exhaust upgrades. I didn't get read that. Shit. Right, I really have to remember to get the bloody replay. Because I already have to redo the Porsche race. Not the Porsche. I haven't driven a Porsche yet. Peugeot. Close enough. Both start with P. 
getting this about weirdly. Bing, 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 bing. Long sweeping corner. Why is my music stopped? Ah, oh, don't start this again today. Lovely, it's just completely reset what we were listening to. I was listening to that song, that was a tune. Not bad. Why does this one four laps though? Not bad. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, that was close. That was deliberately close, though. That wasn't like, uh, oh, I'm going around the corner and, oh, fuck, that's closer than I thought. No, that I deliberately, deliberately did that. I think I could get used to this. Used to this. Alright. One more lap to go. Car behind is 11.8 seconds behind. Flowing round the corners. Yo, Cotto! Welcome back. You're still drinking. Fair enough. Piss <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Yo, Crude, what's up? Long time no see. How you been, man? Hopefully you're having a good day. I think I could get used to Bosh. I think I should reverse over the finish line. Just feel like it. <laughs> there we go. Day is just starting. Fair enough, fair enough. Now that is how you cross the finish line in style. Eight grand. Ooh. Coolio. 
Uh, no, I don't think it does. I am 99.9% .9 sure the uh, multiplayer is shut down on this. Lovely. All right, here we go. Hyundai owners meeting. We're taking the Genesis for this one. Starting off with Sakuba Short, uh, Suzuka East, uh, Camino Vio de Montserrat, Vaio, Vaio. That's how we said it, Vaio. Uh, full circuit, and then Iberian International Circuit. Let's go. Pay close attention. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. I'm kind of regretting taking it in green now. It looks hideous. Do you know what I still forgot to do? To get my damn thumbnail. Holy crap, I just joined in the Prodigies playing. Fuck yes. Yes, this is... This is a good song. <laughs> How are you today, Zeno? Hopefully you have a good day. Close attention. Pay close attention. Bim, 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 bim. And it just finished. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zeno. But the chemists are on now. And they're just as good. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Bible fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Zeno. Thank you so much for asking. Just playing through some motorsport three. I'm coming alive. I'm pretty excited um, for when I finish the Forza series. Once we're done with all the Forza Motorsport games. Um, wow. Specifically, once we're done with Motorsport 4, we get to move on to the Horizon games, which will mix up the Forza series quite dramatically. But then uh, we'll also, once we're finished with Forza altogether, I believe uh, from my planning, I'm going to end this series at Mot uh, Horizon 5. Um, just because of the fact I don't see the next motorsport actually following the same pattern as the rest of these games, so I think it's going to be a um, infinitely updated game, like a live service thing, so I doubt I'll be playing that as a walkthrough. Getting to go karting for the first time next Monday. Hey, I've been uh, I've been karting before, but it's uh, it was a much slower sort of like what kind of carts are you doing? Are you in the, like, fast ones, slow ones? The ones we went in were, like, really slow electric ones. They weren't that great. <laughs> it was still fun. But, yeah, they weren't, they weren't fast. They weren't proper, proper carts. I got your money. Also, thank you so much for the light, Crude. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, electric go-karts have actually sort of gotten a bit more powerful now. So, because the last time I went karting was like six or seven years ago. Woohoo. 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 Pretty awesome early birthday present. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Happy birthday. Early happy birthday, I guess. Fuck sick, man. <laughs> Use the rewind. I haven't used it yet this stream, so... I still don't understand why this game will rewind to the point you start breaking. Like, a majority of the time, if you've crashed, it's because you've missed your breaking point. So do it beyond the point where you start breaking. Like, any good game developer would realize that. Yes, of course, I'm a rewind noob. I'm keeping it in just because of the fact that I 
don't want to have to redo any races. Especially in Motorsport 3, I want to finish all of the races in first. So, um, Motorsport 1 and 2, I had to retry quite a lot of events because I couldn't get them in first, first try. This, I, I want to get Forza done as quickly as possible. Not because I want to rush it, but because I want to rush it. I want to be able to move on to the next game and the next one. I don't want to spend 17,000 hours <laughs> on Forza. Uh, 7,100. Not bad. Ah, oh, level 18. Let's go. I got a 2007 Peugeot 207 Super 2000. That's a rally car, isn't it? We got a 10% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by someone. And we're about to hit 10 hours. Horizon 1 and 2 are really good. And there we go. Nice. And uh, that is 10 hours as well. Let's go. Suzuka is a pog champ. The, um, it is weird that they added, like, rally cars into this game. Because, again, like, the next Forza game really needs to have off-road racing. Because if it doesn't have off-road racing, it just it just proves that the developers are just lazy at this point. Like, I understand it's difficult to make a game. But... When you've proved on multiple occasions you can do something, you can't then not do it. And then expect people to not complain. That's how the video game industry is, always has been, always will be. But the difference is, game developers back from 2000, from 1990s, 2000s, all the way up until about 2010, every game developer typically would add stuff to their games. If they made another, uh, what's it called? If they made another version of a game, they would add stuff. You s look at motorsport one to four right they were bloody brilliant right because they added so much content they added so much new stuff if you look at motorsport 5 i would turn a blind eye because they completely redid the game they redid all the textures they did everything they redone how the game worked so that would be like a okay that they've taken a step backwards to hopefully take some steps forward but instead of taking some steps forward after that point, Motorsport 6 was only a... was shit. Motorsport 7 was shit. They didn't improve on it like they did with the other games. Granted, sometimes a game has to take a step back to go forward. But it should never constantly go back. Oh yeah, Firestarter. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. I think there's about five Prodigy songs in this playlist, so. But there's about 140 songs, so the chances of Prodigy coming up again is slim. <laughs> but yeah, you look at um, what's it called? Yeah, rest in peace, Keith Flynn. Absolute legend. Um, yeah, you look at. Forza Horizon. The first one was okay. Fair enough. Not terrible. It wasn't the best, but it, it wasn't terrible. It was a good start. Then they moved on to Horizon 2, which was a huge improvement. Then Horizon 3 was about level. They stepped back in some parts, but stepped forward in other parts. So, And then for Horizon 4 and 5, they've just gone backwards again it is really confusing why developers like developers are lazy and the thing is again I know I can sit here and say like I don't care if someone goes and says oh well you don't develop games so I know it's difficult but 
if you've done it before... Yeah, live service has ruined innovation. Like, I, I get live service as a thing. Constantly having new stuff added. Like, making a game where it's just constantly being updated. That, that's a good idea. But when it comes to... That's a more multiplayer focused thing. For us gamers who enjoy single player, that's the opposite direction. Nice, we're level two. Uh, you know, have a 10% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by HKS. Cool. Yeah, so uh, carrying on from the last clip. <laughs> Here's the thing. So when developing a game, you have to develop it for as wide an audience as possible, right? So as much as I love the fact that they add multiplayer features to games, I wouldn't typically use them much. I'll use them every so often if a mate says, oh yeah, I want to play a game with you. Sure. We'll play a little bit of games or whatever. Um, but I very rarely game on multiplayer. It's not that it's not my cup of tea, it's just I'm not competitive, so I will only want to play with people I know so that I don't have a competitive environment. I just want to chill and have some fun. Um, so yeah, add multiplayer features, add single player features, but make sure they're focused on. Yeah, new features should be at the forefront of a new project. Agreed. Um, I ju I, I'm going to mention this. So, do you want A lot of people hate on grid because of the handling model and stuff like that. But I think Grid Legends is the best example of how a game should be for a racing game fan. Like, in terms of racing games. Other games are all different. But when it comes to racing games, Grid Legends is a perfect example for that. Right? Reason being, it has single player. It has multiplayer. But the thing is, it has co-op campaign. So you can set up a career race from your career mode and invite friends to join you so you can still progress in your multiplayer. Uh, you can still progress in your single player whilst also still playing with friends. Brilliant idea. Take it at your own pace. Do this, that, whatever. That is amazing. And the addition of cross-platform as well. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, it is the best way that any game has ever done it. But everyone will just hate on it because of the physics. Um, it is a really, really good game. Yeah, exactly. Every single bit of gameplay should benefit each other in some way, shape, or form. When you look... Okay, I understand multiplayer is a lot more common now. People... The average gamer's attention span is too short to want to buy a game and play it. Single player. Let's be honest, we've got Fortnite kids from like ages 8 to 12. Their attention span is ridiculous. And I kid you not, my little brother will not play anything story because his attention span is so short. God, he... He doesn't even have ADHD or ADD or anything like that. And his attention span is worse than mine when it comes to video games. Refuses to play any sort of single play stuff. It'll, it, he'll just focus on like Fortnite or... Um, I mean, I did get him into uh, playing some... I think it was Watch Dogs he was playing on my PlayStation. Um, but he wasn't playing the story. He was just messing about in free roam. Which again is fine. But a lot of games are focusing on the wrong things when it comes to making games now. That you don't have a choice of what you want to do in your game anymore. Stupid. 
I'll take that though. Thank you very much. All right, final race of this episode. Yes, vibes indeed. This is a vibe. This is from 2008. I was a little kid when I listened to this song. Fucking hell, it makes me feel old. This song is like 14 years old. So naturally, why you receive infinity. Bonk. So yeah, like... I'm all for... Here's the thing. So I think developers need to listen more to their community. Because a lot of developers are stuck in... I don't understand this, right? So, corporate... Like, the big high-ups, the, the big boss people, are all like, we want this in a video game, right? Knowing that their community doesn't like it. Now, here's the thing. If a developer, right, Newsflash, EA, and anyone else, if you listen to your community and add features that we want to see... More people will buy your stuff. It's surprising, isn't it? That it works that way. But it does. So do it. You know, it's it's like... um, What's it called? Open source software. So when people develop their stuff for PC, right? If a developer of free open source software doesn't develop... A certain feature and someone else gets to it beforehand or whatever into their software that software will become irrelevant it dies out you think OBS um, is fighting with Streamlabs OBS granted they are the same a similar thing but OBS and Streamlabs OBS are fighting one another to try and actually create features that people want but I know if OBS stopped creating features, Streamlabs OBS would take over. I would have to move over to Streamlabs OBS. It's similar with um, controller software, for example. Like, I use a software called DS for Windows to change my PS5 controller into an Xbox 360 controller so I can use it on my PC properly. If DS for Windows stopped updating and I needed to use something else, I would use it. And it's the same thing with video games. If they don't add features that the community wants, they're not going to be popular. Hey, no worries, Crude. Thank you for the luck, though. Appreciate it, man. Ah, fucked it. GC7 is a great example of when a developer has no form of communication with his player base. It's such a good game, but it's held back so much. I disagree slightly with that. 50-50. I think when the game was developed, it should have... GT Sport was like an online test for them. For Gran Turismo 7. But what they should have done was create Gran Turismo 7 Prologue. A little snippet, around about this time when it launched, of the game. Some of the features gave it a year. Then, people would say, Ah, okay, I like... They could still charge us money for it. We would spend £10, £15, and we could play through the game and enjoy the game as much as we wanted to, but get into it a bit. There wasn't enough that we would feel satisfied, but there's enough there to make us want more. You know, similar to how GT5 Prologue did it. Yeah, I, I will agree with that, Zeno. They should let people know. They should have done a prologue and got community opinions. It's an easy way to get, like, you know. Just weird. Seven grand, not bad. We now have a 10% discount on intercooler upgrades by HKS. Woohoo! I forgot to get my fucking thumbnail! I keep forgetting. I'll just get them all at the end. I can't be bothered. 
<laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -oh.